What's going on lads? Basically I've had some trouble with the audio in some of these clips so I just wanted to sort of tell you guys what's going on in this video. I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be deleting my aircon radiator and as well as doing a couple of little bits here and there. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so I've got to go on ahead and get the car on jack stands, one this side, one the other side. This side is on um, the second setting, the, f the other side is on the first setting, but that'd be fine, it's just had a bit of a slant, but that's fine. So basically, it's like eight bolts underneath the bumper that we need to get off. There'll be one through the arch, um, and then two on the top, um, and then, I believe it's just a couple of clips that I held in here and a 10 mil that's in there as well. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this bumper off. Okay, so we've got the bumper off. Crash bar is gonna have to come off next. And then basically it should be, yeah, you can see the bolts. One bolt there, one bolt back there. And then we'll try and get this aircon rad off. Hopefully, there's a bolt there as well. Hopefully, we won't to be too bad. So yeah, I'll come back to when we get the crash bar off. All right, guys. So we've had to. We're gonna have to take the crash bar out. Um, there's two bolts here, two nuts um, that sit underneath, and to get them out, we've actually had to take the light unit out so there's there's a bolt at the top here there's one down there and then this is already undone from when we were taking the bumper off there's one up there as well yeah there's one up there we, we didn't take the whole unit like right out we just slided it we, we slid it sorry just enough to get nuts out and uh you just thought it was worth noting just because that's gonna cause you guys to get stuck a bit if you don't notice that but and then we'll do it to the other side and then it'll come out Okay, so it's been a little bit since we last recorded. Um, we basically had to take the front off, which was an absolute ball lake of its own. Um, let me try. Yeah, so there was loads of sensors. Obviously the bumper's off. Loads of trims are off, loads of bolts are out. We disconnected the... Yeah, yeah, had to disconnect the bonnet latch. All sorts we had to do. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't need to do that. But um, yeah, we're basically at this point now. We're gonna have to take the aircon rad off now, which should be pretty easy. We're just gonna go ahead and tidy up every all the wires and stuff and try um see if we can get any of these uh, aircon hoses off as well. Um, and just sort of recap of how we are here. Okay, so we first of all, we have to undo the whole front front bracket. All the underneath, bracket. yeah. 
all the bolts underneath just basically just we took off everything didn't we yeah we everything. so literally every bolt we seen we just had to take it out so and, and anyway it's out now it's out now so <laughs> we're good it's out i'm freezing so we're just gonna have to recap and maybe tidy up a little bit awesome. and then go back into it and we'll see how we go Okay, so we've just got the aircon rad off and we've just found out why the actual aircon <laughs> aircon rad never worked in the first place is because of this sensor which normally goes on there snapped off um now i'm hoping that wasn't just us but <laughs> no no because it, it was always on. yeah so like this hasn't worked for the whole time I'm not have had the car i had the whole aircon regassed but after two days it just stopped working again so yeah that's probably why and where all my freaking gas is all gone but we are almost there we just got to do undo a couple of hoses here and there um and then we're looking pretty sick all right lads so basically we still have everything off we've got the aircon rad off um, we've also got one of the aircon rad pipes off which goes into the compressor down there um, what we're doing is we're just going to modify the old hose so we can put a sort of like a blank plate here so nothing gets inside this compressor. Um, I would take it out but obviously it's run by a belt that is run by the Alton Air and everything else down there. So we're just going to go ahead and put a little bit of a blank plate there. But so far so good. So we're going to get some brake fluid and get this paint off here. Um, which is when I originally sprayed the original aircon rad because that one was going like the, the original paint was coming off the aircon rad and then we're just gonna go ahead and try and get this car back together I'm also gonna get this pipe off here while I've um, got the front of the car off get this pipe off and put that forge pipe um, on if you guys have seen that in my previous videos I'll get it here it's in the boot, there it is see so yeah, I can get that on Ruben's just doing the uh, the plate and then uh, yeah so I'll come back to you guys when we have made more progress all right lads so basically we're here at the minute I've got the forge pipe on um, but I'm just waiting for the Jubilee clips I've just sent somebody to get them from home um, get the Jubilee clips on there that'll be done um, it is raining now so that's great um but yeah once that's all connected that'll be done um connect the intercooler pose back up and then we're just basically doing reverse of what we did so uh yeah sorry if i haven't recorded a lot of the stuff i'm doing it's just it's it's things where i'm not really too sure how they come off so i have to work out how how it comes off and where the bolts are and everything so so yeah um i'll go ahead and get back to you guys when we've got the jubilee clips okay lads so we've just got the forge um bottle thr body throttle pipe on so we're just wrapping the bottom part of the throttle body hosing for the boot uh intercooler um and then we're just going to go ahead and start uh putting the tubes back on the intercooler and then we'll go from there and hopefully get this um front panel back on tonight that's it Okay, so we just finished wrapping the bottom throttle body boost pipe in the heat wrap. That's half decent. That's right, yeah. Right, lads, to recap, we've literally just come back from the shop because we were both starving and we've been on this for like. When did we start? Around two ish, and now it's like. Yeah, it's late. It's, it's, it's pitch black. So, uh yeah we're still here um got the forge pipe on uh we do need to just add a little bracket because the pipe that is behind the coolant radiator is um touching the fan it's a, it's a long story but basically because of this new pipe it's like thrown off the diameters of the pipes and everything um but we'll make it work also uh, if i go ahead and get a torch also we've also got the um air conditioning pipes we've sort of makeshift a sort of blanking plate for the compressor down there um if you guys can see that properly um and then the, we've got the pipes here that sort of end here because we can't get the pipes off because they all go through there uh, the back of the engine bay and everything so i'm just gonna leave that for another day 
Um, leave that for another day when, I don't know, maybe one day I take the engine out of the freaking thing. And then we can take them out. <laughs> but at this minute, I'm just happy with the way it is. And we're gonna go ahead and get that bracket done. Um, get the intercooler on properly and start putting the front of the car back together. Right lads, so we've got the front of the car back on. Um, sorry if you can't see very well. This. That's dead as well. So we don't have any torches left. Um, one of them is on charge. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and try. Make do what we have with that little light up there. Um, it's still pitch black outside. But hopefully we're gonna get this done tonight. So we've got the front of the car on, we just need to do the under tray. I've just gone over the boost pipes. Um, so yeah, next thing will be the under tray. And we'll go from there. All right, lads, so <laughs> it's like one o'clock in the morning now. Um, I've got the headlights back on, um, but unfortunately, because our crash bar, is still off um, and we put the bolts back where they were originally uh, back in the original holes and um, because we put the crash bar bolts back in we no longer can get them out because we just put the headlight back in so now we have to take the headlights back out and get the bolts back out so we can put the crash bar back on so yeah that's uh, even more time it's going to be wasted but We'll get there in the end. Um, we're both getting a bit tired now. So I don't know how much longer we're going to carry on tonight. But if anything, we'll just carry on tomorrow morning. Okay lads, so it's currently the next day. Obviously when, when I left you guys off, it was like one, one o'clock in the morning. We actually didn't leave the garage until three o'clock in the morning. Um, so yeah, this is the next day. Um, car's all back together. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what she looks like. So this is what we're dealing with. Um, I got the forge pipe on, the down uh, throttle body boost pipe down there is wrapped in the heat wrap um, I've also changed the Jubilee clips for this um, intake um, I've also ordered some new ones because I want to change these out because um, these are the ultra high grip ones um, otherwise uh, I've still got some of the air comrades here but they don't actually they're just sort of chilling there and this is what the front looks like it's, a, it's just a um, basically just the intercooler behind the grill um, so yeah I think it looks so much more better so yeah let me know what you guys think in the dis in the uh, comment section down below um, also let me know what you guys want to see next um, I also do have a lot of plans for this car but it's just trying to find the time and the money to get it done but um, yeah make sure to subscribe if you want to see any more videos on my project car and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next one